Hey everyone, Silver Steeler here. It's not often you get a call from your LCS guy and say, hey, come on over, it's midnight. <laughs> so I did. We are at our local LCS at one o'clock in the morning looking at a million proof eagles. And a bunch of commemoratives. Oh gosh, a bunch. And look, we're going to try to see what he's going to sell me these nine 1996 Eagles for. We haven't, we've, we've talked briefly over that. Might be getting more than one tube tonight. Probably getting more than two tubes tonight. Maybe even more than three. We'll see how this goes here. He's got so much of everything I want on this table. <laughs> You do. I want it all, man. What's your price on all of it? So seriously, while, while we got this running right now, this I was just here earlier today making some constitutional silver purchase and what have you. And between, literally called me up while I was working tonight and said, hey, look, I got a bunch of constitutional silver that came in. Are those all Wheaties? Those are all, well, that's, there's mostly Wheaties. There's a couple Oops. that were mixed in that were... We're just dropping uh, like the gold on the floor. Is that gold? Well, that's just a... Uh, oh, no, that's, oh, that's, a, that's, that's the innovation. No, no the it's gold. The innovation <laughs> ones. The gold proofs are over here. Oh, no, those are the dollar ones. Oh. Yeah. There's the proofs. There's proof gold eagle one ounces. Uh. Look at all those. Look at all those one ounce proof eagles. There's like four or five of them. <laughs> We got foreign coins. Yeah, foreign silver. Four, two bags of foreign silver. Do you know what most of that is? Is it like 80%, 90%? There's, there's mix. Some of it's, uh, there's some that's uh, 25 and 40 and 80. Uh, there's, uh, oh nine, there's 90 in there. There was uh, one that was uh, 800, so 80%. Oh, that's just spilling. I've been hearing about a, a ton of uh, sterling silver here. Right? Mm -hmm. like yeah. Coins made from other countries and sterling silver. That's sort of interesting because that's 92.5. Right. Yeah. And in order and to keep track of a lot of that stuff, I literally I have to print off a sheet. We've got a, a cheat sheet that I've made up that's got a lot of the foreign silver listed on it. And oh, I go, yeah. yeah, I go through what the silver foreign value is. That way it's just easier when people walk in the door. But to keep track of it all in my head would be impossible. I do pretty good with the all the current melt values on the the uh, American silver and Canadian and, and when you get into some of the, the, the Chinese stuff, I'm okay there. But you get much beyond that, I, I can't remember it all. So we use a cheat sheet that's uh, got all of the melt values for the most current, most common uh, right. silver foreign coinage. And then beyond that, we go to World Coins to look up more details and, and look at the... Of course, that's when you get to spend $200 a book per year to keep all track right. of it all. All right. Yep. So... <clears throat> You guys got a lot of, are these all the same then when you're over no, here? No, so like this is, this is all scientists. So this is founding father. I'm literally going through and putting them by, by variety because this one, so if you know the Franklin, they actually made several different patterns of the Franklin. So no, know. I do not. Yeah, so the same yeah. year they made um, the scientists, the founding father, I, I, and I don't remember all of them because you get into commemoratives and there's so many varieties of things. Um, but uh, like this one, with the same year, they made different versions of the coin with really? different. Yeah, well, here I'll show you. So this is a founding father um, obverse that has the founding father obverse on the face. Then you have the scientist obverse on the face. These are both from 2006. So there's the scientist. It's got a picture of him with the you know holding the kite. I don't know. I think I'll tell you right now, my knowledge of all the commemoratives is definitely lacking, mm -hmm. for sure. I mean, I would need your help on commemoratives a lot, because I just... Well, commemoratives are one of those things where you have to be, you have to really enjoy the art that's on them. I mean, they're an American silver dollar. They're, they're right. still, you know, one ounce of 999 fine silver in every one of them. Right. But then you get into the different, uh, you know, the patterns Actually, are and the, the commemoratives. And, 100% silver or are they 9 0? No, they're, not, they're 9 9 9, I believe. Well, wait a minute. No, 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 you're right. You're, they're 90%. You're right. They're 90%. Okay. Yeah, they're right. 90%. So they're, they'll make it just like the Morgan Piece comp, you know, composition. Yes. In exact the coin. same composition. Yes. Right. Yep. And, you know, the, the other trick to that is to remember that they're, they're 26.73 uh, grams uh, in weight for each one of them. So, you know, 26.73 total grams uh, of weight to 26.73 is the weight of the actual coin. Of that is ninety percent silver and ten percent copper, so you got two point six seven grams of copper. Right. So you got twenty four grams of silver. So, 
Um, but the other thing to remember is that they also do a lot of these in sets, and then which mint they come from makes a difference because, you know, different commemoratives from different mints the same year have a different value to them. So, uh, well, you know, and of course, going forward, they're going to make that out of pure silver now. Yeah. All the commemoratives. That is my yeah, There's been well. some discussion out there, was it just going to be done for the year 2019? They go right back again. But no. from what I've been hearing, I think it's straight pure silver the whole way now. That is my understanding as well. Again, we you, you know you really never know yeah, until and, the, and, the government and, does something. And I've always thought, why did they do it in the year 2019? Why, why not just wait one more year and do it 2020 so it could be an even decade? So it would be a little easier to keep track of. But I guess the men always does things whenever they just feel like doing it. Well, yes and no. I mean, some of that stuff, it, the changes are put into place a long time before oh, sure. they actually take an account. Absolutely. So, but, uh, you know, it, it, it's, to me, What's it's your feelings on that, by the way, about the point nine nine? Do you think it's going to produce more MS-70 coins? Honestly, I think what they're trying, in my opinion, this is just my weird guy opinion, I think they're trying to hedge the problem that they've had with commemorative sustaining their resale value. So if you look at a lot of the commemoratives that are on the market, uh, you know, from the 80s till now, they're not, uh, they, they have not done well with sustaining their value, their resale value on the secondary market. Um, I think part of that's because it's, it is coin silver. It's nine, you know, 90% mm. silver. Right. I think uh, people still haven't broken the habit of thinking of 90% silver as being quote unquote junk silver. I think the other part of it is, is that um, going to the 999 fan standard will give them far fewer uh, planchets to generate. They're going to, you know, they're creating just fine silver planchets, and then they're either going to be polished or burnished and finished at the, at the different mints. So, you know, currently the United States manufactures one set of planchets of nine, uh, 999 fine silver that are used for American silver eagles. Then they manufacture planchets in 90% in coin silver. So it can so, eliminate something for them. Yeah, from from purely from a manufacturing standpoint, right. it, it's now you just have to make one. You're just yeah. making yeah. Well, one set, yeah. One I mean, set. You, you right. still have to. You still have the difference, the, the treatment difference for the proof. You know, with those being polished and burnished planchets versus. But still, you would think it would eliminate at least one step. Now they don't need to have any ninety percent planchets at all. Right. At least they yeah, at this point in time they don't right. need to. If they continue on the path they're on right now, it'll all be you know every U.S. round silver. One ounce coin will contain one ounce of silver. Right. So, you know, if you look at it in 1986, they had 86 commemoratives that were 90%, and then you had 86 American Silver Eagles, which were 99.9. Mm. In the same year, you, so from a from a metal standpoint, if you look at the history, or not the history, if you look at the, the rememberability of the coin, you can't just say all coins from 1964 were silver because... In like well, like we can in 1964, you can say all all half dollars in 1964 were silver, all half dollars in 1952 were silver. In the United States in 1987, 89, 92, 2018, all silver or I mean all round silver one dollar coins were not nine 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 fine. Some were nine nine, some were ninety. So from a collector standpoint, it's kind of confusing. If you go, oh, if you're yeah. a new collector, let's say let's say you get a 12 year old kid today. Mm -hmm. That decides he wants to be a numismatist, a coin collector. In his mind, he has to remember that during the time frame that he was around and all those coins in that time frame were minted from two different matters. So if he walks into a flea market or a garage sale or inherits some coins from Uncle Dave, he has to do a lot of research to determine what the coins were made of. Right. By streamlining it, it'll go back to the way it was there for a long time during what I call the heyday of, and beauty of coins, you know, when all of a variety of coin were made a certain way. So it, it, that's just my opinion. Now, I, I don't have any facts or proof to substantiate that. No. no documentation that I've read that says that. That's just really, in my mind, that's what occurs to me is the two reasons to do it are streamlining the production, or three reasons, streamlining the production, making it more, um, I don't know, streamlined as far as collectors are concerned. And then, of course, uh, to top all that off, I think from a manufacturing standpoint and, and price supporting standpoint, it's going to support the future sale of the coin it will be like an American Silver Eagles. Look at how stable American Silver Eagles are. Yeah, and liquid. And yeah, liquid. and liquid, that's true. Yeah, I, yeah. Mean, I mean, it's far easier to... It, it, the easiest thing to sell in the world is an American Silver Eagle. Exactly. It's also the easiest to buy. It's, we all know what the standard is on it. So if you get... You let's, can't get that coin out of there. Let me see. Well, go on, no, you can't get the... So let's say it's uh, 2075. 
She's got the touch. It's the magic touch. <laughs> 2075, and, and you find a bag full of coins. Hopefully, if they're all from the same year, you'll be able to say, oh, these are all 9995. All right. All you know right. what I mean? Yeah. Versus if you find them 2000, yeah. if you, let's say the same year, you find a bag of coins and they're all mixed up. You got to go through and determine whether it's ninety percent, forty percent. I mean, look at uh, look at U.S. nickels. Uh, I mean, and that's. I mean, I already said earlier why why start in twenty nineteen, and yeah, of course it takes years to get this stuff in progress. I mean, it, to get all the machinery right, the plants just right, it's going to take a number of years to get that going. Why didn't they do this back in the early nineties when darn silver was at three bucks an ounce? Good question. That would have been the perfect time right there. I mean, then... You know, if I could remember that, if I knew the answer to that, I could answer why didn't I buy gold when it was, you know, yeah. $200 an ounce. <laughs> yeah, and why yeah. didn't, I, why didn't right. I buy silver when it was $3? I mean, I bought silver when it was $3 an ounce, and then I sold it when it was at $10 an ounce, and I thought I was making a killing. Well, you know, <laughs> I think maybe, and, and, and correct me, say if I'm wrong on this or not, but I've only been in this for about what? We're going on 18 months now or so, mm -hmm. and... What I've amassed is not only just amazing to me, but it's the fact that most of it has been bought in the $15 range. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering about all these other people out there that, you know, how when something gets hot and silver goes up $20, $30, now, that's all of a sudden they start buying. Mm -hmm. I wonder how many people got all that money in $30. So I think I'm on the better side of it, mm -hmm. I hope, because I started at $15 an ounce. You know, what would be a disaster if it went back down to $3 an ounce? Then, no, that that won't ever ever happen. I mean, I don't, I don't think there's any chance in the AG double hockey stick that that would ever happen. I mean, are you thinking that we're reaching a floor right now? Oh, I think I think we're, I think twelve, thirteen is probably as low as we'll see in the next five or six years anyway. And the reason I feel that way is there's always the possibility that some government somewhere might decide to dump a bunch of you know gold and silver on the market and change things up. I think there's also a, always a possibility that uh, people will get scared and decide to switch from one metal to another, they might go from silver to platinum. Well, yeah, and the gold-silver ratio right now is at, at uh, historic uh, highs. Yeah. 92%. What do you feel I mean, about 92 that? to 1. Do you one. think there's going to be a correction in that sometime? Uh, it, wouldn't surprise, it wouldn't surprise me. Would not surprise me. Well, you got a lot of commemoratives there, man. Yep, and this and, is just a small This is a small. And you got a lot of proofs, and I'm, I'm halfway through on my proof stuff. In order for me to even know... What years and proofs I need, I would actually have to watch my video real quick, just because I say the dates out there on them. Yeah. I know where my gap. I've got the beginning ones, and I've got from 2019 backwards. And there's that. Yeah, I'm no. shrinking the middle gap is what I'm doing now. 94 being, of course, the well, one that's yeah. going to be heartburn. Because now that I've started, I need to almost like get it. So, are these all full tu tubes here? Of eagles? Uh, one, I think one. You got one a partial? Uh, the first one over here. This one's partial. I so, I, so, I, so I guess let's start talking business. Okay. Looks like they, they got some uh, you got some marks in there, so these may not be all one year, too. They they're can not, be, no, no, they're, none of them are all full year. None of them are full year? Yeah, I almost mixed. want it that way. They're from 86 till Oh, my turn. God. I mean, they're this is what I tell everyone on YouTube. I sit there and I buy these full rolls off like Provident or something like that or Atmax, and it's all the same darn year. It's all 2013 or 2019, even though I bought the random year. And mm -hmm. I get that, that sometimes as a corporation like that, you can't give them a... But there's nowhere else in the world I'm going to get more random dates than coming to you, man. <laughs> I mean, I'll search through these all at home and try to figure out, if, is there another 96 somewhere in here? Could be. Oh, you haven't searched them yet either. No. Oh... Nope, I bought those loose, and I bought those as uh, they said. I tell Yankee and Silver Dragons I'm coming for them on the Silver Eagles now. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, both of them are going to just floor they, it. They'd floor it and pass me by. And, uh, it's not a contest anyway, like they said. I just can't. Let's All right, let's talk down the business here. So what are... Uh, is it the more Eagles that I buy, do I get a bigger discount? This is all going to be gone tomorrow. He's got a guy coming in at 10 a.m. He's going to buy it all up. Well, he's the, coming in at 9 a.m. 9 a.m. By, by 10 a.m. It'll all be off my counter. You ain't even gone. open yet. Nope. No, you're open for him, though. Just like you. If, <laughs> if, they're, like if they're a strong I'm buyer, I'm sitting here at 1.30 in. in the morning at my local coin shop. You tell me another LCS out there that does that. <laughs> <laughs> they don't do that. 
But he knows my you hunger made, for eagles. You made me promise to call you when I had a large batch come in. I got done buying this collection at about 10.30 at night, and uh, then I ran home to take the dogs out and all that stuff, and then came back and said, I better take him if he wants any before they all disappear. So, Well, I really do appreciate that. And You're welcome. I'm going to have to move some things around to be able to make this purchase tonight, but... So no, we're, no we're, pressure. You don't have to so, buy anything. No, 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 no. There's pressure. I got eagles sitting right in front of me. Are you kidding me? The most random assortment of eagles I could possibly get anywhere. <laughs> so literally, there. Literally, I know for a fact. We we opened a couple of tubes up and saw that there were some. Um, there were some eighty sixes in there, some eighty sevens, all the way up into the two thousands. So what if I told you? What if I told you I what I think I'm willing to spend, and then I'm sure I could help you spend it. I'm sure you can, okay? <laughs> I'm sure you can. You know, I, I really honestly think, I know you got a lot of bad-ass designs out here on these commemoratives, but I'm so focused on the Eagles right now. This would really dig into that. This would fill up the Monster Box quite well. It would help you very much. It would help me greatly. <laughs> I mean, and then I, I, I see all this out here, and I'm like, do I spend it all on eagles, or do I go after any of these? And these are all proofs, right? Every They're one of these. proofs. There are some Philadelphia, <sighs> a lot of West Points, and a few uh, San Francisco's in there. All right. Oh, you ain't got the 2018S, do you? Uh-uh. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 2018S yeah, yeah. and West Point. There's an S and a W over there. Really? Yeah. Both of them. So well, that, that 2018S seems to be going for Oh, he's going to bring the book out now. Now you're supposed to give me the, you know... The curb price. <laughs> I will give you the curb price. I will give you the curb price. Uh, I missed out on that. I should have ordered one then, but I I wasn't into the proofs then. And, you know, I'm almost still not into the proofs now, but the mistake I made is I got half of them now. Uh -huh. So I need to get the other half. Uh -huh. It's a little addiction you know, problem thing I got. Like sending him home with an empty tube. Oh, by the way, that story has been told on YouTube a couple times. A couple other people goes, my coin, my LCS guy does the same thing. Gives him another tube at home. Sometimes with a coin in it. Yeah. Just to, you know. It's a seed coin. <laughs> I wish it would grow and not it, have to take my money to do it. No, no, no. It, it will grow as you, as you water it with more silver. As you put uh, more money in it. Right, right. Well, no, as, as you stack more intrinsic silver. <laughs> and what, are, are these some... Well, those are. That's just some silver plate that we haven't brought in. That's silver plate. That's silver plate, yeah. We got a whole set of silver plate. Look at that bag of Constitution. This just came in from one person. Yep. Oh, shoot, I'm spilling it out. Here, put that back oh, in. Gotta I gotta buy it all. <laughs> Don't tempt me, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, did I didn't realize the bag was open a little I bit. I lost two quarters in a dime, though. Oh, well. I didn't take all of it. So. I got about 2K. I'll help you spend it. You'll help me spend my 2K? Mm-hmm. My job. <laughs> Don't tell the boss. Oh, wait. That's oh, wait, wait. Yeah. He'll right. Me. Right. Oh, man, that's great. You can't believe I'll be going through those tubes that when I get home, sitting there going, come on, 96. Come on, 96. And these are all 96s here. I, I'm not going to lie to you. I'd like to. I'd like that to be part of the take home tonight for sure. And if you can give me a breakdown as to what that's like running me, that'd be. Yeah. So now that I decide, you know, come out here tonight and dump 2K on everything, it might be a, uh, might be a little bit. Before you see me again. No worries. <laughs> I won't expire. I just, just, oh yeah. Well, I'll try not to too. This is just like being in heaven right now. You showed me those pictures. I looked at your text and I was like, oh, I'm going to give Winning a call and tell her to be dressed and ready when I get off work tonight. 2018 San Francisco. Oh, you found it. Uh -huh. I knew exactly where it was. <laughs> is that what you're digging up info on? Is that San Fran? 20... I'm going to give you a price. Ah. 2018 West Point. Okay, but the... The West Point one, we probably already got. Yeah, we already got that one. You think? Well, we have a 2018 Silver American Eagle proof, so it would probably be more the common one would be the West Point. That's where they meant to at now, right? 
They make them in, uh, most of those are made in West Point, yes. I'm thinking we got the West Point already. We'll have to look at the video. No, I'm actually pretty sure about that one, the 2018, because I know, I know we got 2019 and backwards to about 2002. Because isn't that the one that... Yeah, the, the 18S, first line is $45. So where do you want to be? Uh, $90. <laughs> <laughs> um, now you're going to kill him. No, 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 I was being sarcastic. Well, I don't think I need the West Point one, but she's going to figure it out here soon because I think she's going to watch our video on YouTube because sure. we didn't bring any of our information in. And I don't think yeah. I've got that even we categorized. Yeah, we were in a hurry. So, I mean, what are you selling the tube of Eagles for? What are you selling them to me if I try to gobble most of those up in my budget right now? This, mm. is, this is the long, deep breathing in part for both of us. <laughs> Maybe more for me than you. <sighs> so where where would you like to be? And let me see if I can get you close to that. Well, the last time you sold them to me, that's when I picked up 11 here that one day. And mm -hmm. he sold them to me for $17.25 a piece. Mm -hmm. there, what's silver at right now? $15.30-ish? $20-ish? $15.19, I think. $15.19? No, it's at, it's at 1530, but I just quoted you 1519, so we'll work with that. Uh, that's even better. So, was, so how much over, if I was to try to get, I mean, each tube running at, I'm just trying to do ballpark right now. Yeah. Seeing how many tubes of Eagles I can walk out of here with and try to get this and try to possibly get that San Francisco proof. I may not be able to get all five rolls. I get that. Five rolls at... Yeah, there's probably not much to work with in there, so I may be only going home with four rolls. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see if we can get you there. All right. That's my interest right now. My interest would be, you can keep that partial one off there because it'll only tempt me to, like, have to fill it up. So I'll well, only go home with the full. Today. Hey, I know, I know. Shh. <laughs> You're not helping the situation at all. <laughs> um, well, then I got these darn 96s, but... <laughs> I'm thinking I may flip one of the other two of those. I don't know. What did I charge you before? You charged me seventeen twenty five, but silver was lower then. Yeah, silver was, was below fourteen. I think it was like at thirteen ninety eight or something. No, no, it was higher than that. It was almost at fifteen. It was like fourteen ninety five. Fifteen, okay. It was okay. just below fifteen. Ah, so you're talking twenty cents difference. There. Right, right. So I mean, we're not far from where it has, is now, but it has gone up. I know that. Because we were only here. When's that video? Like two, three weeks ago. Was well, was, I'll, know, tell you, I'll tell you what I'll do. Okay. Uh, even though silver's a little higher than that. Okay. Than it was when you came in and bought them. I'll let you get them at seventeen twenty-five. Okay. You like that idea? It's starting to whet my appetite. So, to try to get... If I'm buying all that, what are you going to let these 96 Eagles go for? Let's, let's I, I cannot go over 2K. Okay. So this, if, if it dips into a roll, then it dips into a roll. I don't okay. know what it does. I mean. Yeah. So have you looked at the 96s lately? You know what they're at? I know you looked at the one that you got from me the other day. It was a wonderful bargain for you. Oh, yeah, it was. Um, I don't know where they, where they're going for right now. 45, 50 bucks? 55. Is $55. Yep, right there is the sheet. 55 bucks on gray sheet. Wow. So now let's, let's come to a number that, that we can both live with. <sighs> How many are there? There's nine. nine, you said. Yeah, nine. She's already stacked them up like she's taking them home. Hey, Winning, you're going to have to help me here. He's He's got me up against, he's got me cornered. You're on the ropes. <laughs> I'm on the ropes. I still can't find you. I mean, what are you happy with? I mean, I'm not even going to ask you, are you going to give me the, you know, because I'm buying so much today, I realize you're factoring that in. So you're not going to hurt my feelings with what price you put out there that makes you satisfied with it. So as, as a normal, put you this way, normally when a coin dealer buys a coin, we try to buy in the 60 to 70% range of, okay. of gray sheet. Okay. 
as, as a dealer, we move the product on usually with a small margin above that. So to give you an idea right now, at $55 a piece on the gray sheet, that puts that coin at $33 is what I would normally offer someone when they walk in the door. I would pay normally $33 a piece for them. Okay. So now I want you to listen carefully to me. I was lucky enough to get these at a decent price. Okay. I buy a lot of stuff from these people and they bring me a lot of stuff. They get it right. I get it right. These collections come in. I want to keep them happy, so I have to pay them decently for them. I can't just, you know, rob them of their coins. So sure. Speak. All right. But I could let you have these at $30 a piece. That puts them at 54% of the book value. That's what a, that's below what you could get them for at a dealer or at a coin show or anywhere else. $30 a piece. $30 a piece. So I'm looking at... About 10 of them would almost equal the tube at that point. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. All right. So 30 times 9 is $270. It's not a tube. A tube is more than that. Right. Well, well I'm, just, I'm just trying to say that it's almost, yeah. it's twice at, at, at spot, basically. Yeah. Right. And so, therefore, it's almost like the, if there were 10 of them here, that would equal about a normal tube. Yeah. Without the premiums that are associated with them, that's what I'm trying to figure. That's actually, yeah. it's actually not by a price. So I'm looking at nine of them at thirty. That's two hundred and seventy bucks right there for these nine ninety sixes. I don't think I can pass up thirty dollars on those at all. So, I mean, that's right, you, right, but... no, 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 no. You right, right. Are you right. hearing this? Yes. Winning thirty dollars a piece on these ninety sixes. They all look like they're in fantastic shape, man. I have an it's ugly tiny. one in the back of it from another group. Oh yeah. It came. It came in by itself, and it's ugly. I was going to put it up on the internet. You All right. Want me to grab it and let you see it? It's, oh. it's ugly and you can have it for 20 bucks because I, I paid 19 for it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, sure. Throw it I mean, in. It's not damaged or anything. It's just got some, no, kind, of, no, that's, got some kind of weird it stuff It might be a perfect gall for my 500 sub or something. Yeah. Let me, uh, yeah, absolutely. I was going to throw it up on the internet option and see what it brought. Sure. Now, let me stop this for a moment. All right, we're back. take that from me so we've looked at our video and we do have the 2018 west point proof we're but thinking we about don't getting that san francisco. have the san francisco and i'm trying I, I keep i keep forgetting why that 2018 san francisco eagle is worth something well so, it's the last issue of the san francisco runs i believe i don't think they did they didn't do a 19s did they do San Francisco's in... They did do a 19S. They seem to get involved whenever they have some of them special ones, like the 2012. They had a reverse right. proof and a regular well, San Francisco right. proof in and, the package together. And they had the W burnished. Right. So, you know, you had... So that gave you three different issues that year. And then the, yeah. the 13 had three different issues. The 14 had only two issues. The 15 only had two issues, the 16 two issues, and the 17 two issues. But the, and then the 18, I think they only did the 18 in the W and the S. They didn't do the 18 Philly, so. Oh, so he does have some dates on the side of these. Did you see that? Yeah, but they don't correspond to the coins that are in them. Um, oh, they really don't yet? No, because I, I found that one of them, I mean, at, at least they didn't at the time, when I popped one of the tubes open, um, this Can't even read that. Yeah, it's, it's got it on so, there. So this, this tube says 91 to 92 on it. The very first one in it says 2000. <laughs> That's the one I, the first thing I looked at is why I knew it didn't match. Yeah. All right. But don't you love stacks of silver? See, there's an 86 in that one. An 86. First year. Yep. There's an 86. Another 86. Jeez. Stacks stacks Dude, stop stacks looking. Stacks stacks of 86. Yeah, we don't want These you to find These are just a, we, ordinary <laughs> we eagles. We don't want you to find a 96. I'm again. not saying a word. We've already, we've already come to an agreement. If you choose to take them, that's the price they are. From this moment on, I'm not, I will not audit, edit, or change the price. <laughs> okay. All right. You demand. All right. We because it's, you know, this is almost like better than wheat pennies right now. I get to search through American Silver Eagles that... Even my coin dealer has not looked through yet. This nope. is freaking awesome. I just bought him by the tube. Yeah, I'm going to be up forever tonight. I'm never going to bed. Well, good. The girls haven't eaten. Oh, yeah. The kitties haven't eaten because of thunderstorms. <sighs> All right. So what have I got left out of my budget? I've spent 200 What was this, 290 here? That was 290 on those. Okay. And then we didn't come to an agreement yet on the 18S. Um, oh, so yeah. Let's talk about a value on there, what you want to, where, where, you, where you're comfortable with. 
How much did you say that the book said that it was going for? Forty-five right now is on the is the line on it is the first line. Um, I'm you know I'm very flexible. Let's talk about it. Oh, it's killing me. Um, I'm not really good at this part because <laughs> I so, don't want I don't want to offend you. How about thirty bucks? I was going to say that number actually. Thirty bucks. That's, 30 that's bucks. below seventy percent. That's so. do we have any more cheaper than what I could have gotten off the mint for? I think. Yeah, it is. I think they're thirty nine when you when they ordered them new. Oh my gosh! Is there okay. any more San Francisco's over there? We'd have to look. Honestly, I really I, I, bu I bought them by year, not by. Hey year. baby, I, I oh. think with the rest of what I've got to go, I've got to throw the rest in this. And I, that bag of freaking constitutional silver over there is killing me too. You know it is. Why? This is this is. This is more important. I know. So, so if we're talking seventeen twenty-five a coin, then yep. you got eighty that's, coins there. I got eighty right there. Okay, so eighty of them would be thirteen eighty. So I can get a fifth roll. Thirteen eighty plus two ninety plus thirty. Yeah, you'll have you'll be close. Yeah. What am I at with that fifth roll? Seventeen. So it's three forty-five a roll. Three forty-five a roll. That's fantastic. This is more important than Constitution. I know. I put you at two thousand forty-five dollars for the five rolls, the S, and the ninety-sixes. That's our hole for two thousand and forty-five dollars. You said. Mm-hmm. I got ten ninety-sixes. A possibility of a whole bunch of nice sorting tonight when we get home. <laughs> That's going to be fun, and that would bring up my whole overall. I'd be eleven rolls in, getting close to the halfway mark. Another roll and a half would do it. Am I wrong? Twelve and a half rolls is the halfway mark. Mm -hmm. well, we're filling that thing faster than what I thought we would. Well, it's going <laughs> to slow down a bit. I mean, you know, right now, I think after taking this little hole in tonight, if silver all of a sudden did shoot up to 20, 25, it'd be the perfect time for me to take a break. Right? It just would. I mean, this would one. delight me. Have you guys seen this baseball one? I was trying to show you some of these. Aren't those fun? I like oh, the is that the one. curved baseball? Yeah, yeah there, there's the curved baseball, uh, the curved baseball dollar, and we've got a curved baseball half of it that came in that was graded. From a disc came in from a different person. Look at that. It's the first curved coin the U.S. Mint put out. Yep, and here's the, uh, you know, it's, it's to commemorate the curved ball, and there's the half dollar that matches it, and it is also concave. Uh, uh. Is that silver or is that clad? The the halves are clad. That's what I thought. Halves are clad. The dollars are, are silver. The ninety percent silver. But they are a really fun set, and they they add they did also see the uh, have glove a, size. a set that had the half and the dollar in it. But mm -hmm. that's not what came in. This is how they came in. You might have to take that one out. Sure, you can get it out for you. Yes, you got the magic touch. I don't. That's My what? fingers are too fat. Ah, <laughs> he didn't have the magic touch on that one. Taking a crowbar to it. No, not a crowbar. The tip of a soft pin. <laughs> I think this is so neat though because even not only like is the this. coin curved and the and the holder, but the her holder's convex on one side and concave on the uh -huh. other. Yeah. It's just like the Apollo. They did the Apollo ones like that yes. too. Yeah. Yes, which I really like them. So. I did too. We got the five ounce one. Yeah, I got two of them. I just we think we were going to flip one, uh -huh. and then the mint said, oh, "You're not going to get yours for like five, six months." And of course, uh, we the flipping ordered... availability just died, died off then. Yeah. yeah. So now I'm stuck with both of them, but you we're know not what? stuck. I like them. So it's just it's, it's just like up. the the uh, um, five ounce America, the beautifuls. You know, there was that delay in the middle there. They were issuing them, issuing them, issuing them. Stop. Wait a little while, then come back to them. To complete your set, they had to make you hungry to make sure you bought right. that last one. Well, they first told me May on an email, and then I got another one that said it was going to be October. And I so I literally called them up, talked to somebody on the phone. It took forever to get a hold of them, mm -hmm. and uh, I told them I said, if it's in October, forget about it. I won't take them. Yeah. And I said, so what do you want to do, cancel your order? And I got put on the spot then. I was like, no, I don't want to cancel my order if they're going to come in the original May when he told me. And so they ended up coming in 
mm-hmm. May. Mm-hmm. And now you can get on there right now. Just check your site the other day. You can add them to the value right there. You got them in stock. So what was all this October, November crap that didn't happen then? I don't know. I mean, because by them not having right the correct information, I was ready to bail on them. You know, they could have just lost a couple sales now. Sure, that's nothing to them. But this is why the Mint has problems sometimes with the public because they always right say one thing and then all of a sudden it's just like I, I just, finger man. let's see what that one is i'd have a field day with these commanders that kills me leaving all these things off to the side but oh man oh that look is, at that the american that flag cool. lady liberty that is cool let's see if i can get this one out no those things i swear we got some at home that were like eh. I think they're cemented on there. No, there is a trick to getting these out. Obviously we haven't mastered that yet. You, you roll you gotta kinda roll your finger into the slot. The the the, the opening is designed for your finger <gasps> to slide in. That's beautiful. Oh, that is beautiful. Look at the flag. Oh my gosh, man. That's freaking awesome. All right, what are you selling that one for? What is that? Which one is that? The spar spangled banner. See, this is the danger. I'm already over my budget, and now we're looking at other pretty shiny things that, you know. Mm-hmm. That flag on the back, though. I'll be playing on working a lot this year, winning. I love those. Awesome. Five rolls. Yeah. We're going to get that. We're going to have to change some scheduling around on our YouTube schedule now. So the uh, gray sheet puts it at 34. 34? Mm-hmm. Would you stop looking at them? Well, people might not have seen these. Well, they might not have them, but then we look at it and, you know, see? That looks pretty cool, too. We should I, see I would some want, of the ones I would I want feel. that. <laughs> put it put it away. Don't look at it anymore. You're not allowed to look at it anymore. 27? See, he's even giving you prices yet. He knows what he's doing over here. <laughs> hey, listen. He's talking to you. While I got you here. Because you know it. We mean you have talked Let off me to run and hide <laughs> in the closet right now. We've talked on the side about possibly uh, doing a segment or two each month. Mm-hmm. And uh, if you could just get a little bit of a summary of what we've talked about, what maybe an idea or two. We go through the denominations. We go through, you know, because you've got a wealth of information in that brand of yours when it comes to coins. God yeah. created this wonderful tool, and it's called reading. And if you use oh, it. I- and retain. I do. No, 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 not <laughs> no, no, you. I'm right. saying the world. Okay. No, so, no, no. Right. So many people out there, they they, they read things cool. in their day to day lives, like you know the, the back of a of a drink a drink a dietary supplement aid, or they read the the uh, the blob on Facebook or blurb on Facebook about their friend's wedding's dog's funeral. All right. What you don't, what they're not doing is they're not doing research. They're not reading history, and they're not re- using their brain to store knowledge that could in the future be used to pass on the history of our civilization. Right. And so to me, I, I love reading about our history, but numismatics is a great combination of not only our history and remembering things, but it also is an art form. It combines all the great stuff about our country. You know, you, you get the history of our country preserved yeah. in something that's tangible and hard that can be passed on. You know, for example, the that's an awesome way of saying that. Which one are you looking at right now? Is it the, the marshals? Okay, so the U.S. Marshals. That one is celebrating one of our unsung heroes. You don't hear about the U.S. Marshals very often in the things they do. No, you don't. And yet here is an absolutely gorgeous uh, commemorative coin minted by the United States of America. It features the term liberty across the top. Um, It surrounds the U.S. Marshals' five-point star, which, of course, is also used as their their shield. And it, it, it commemorates a group of individuals that deserve to be sung about and remembered that are so far often forgot because, you know, we see our day-to-day, you see your local sheriff or constable sure. or police officer. Mm-hmm. You know about the police. You know about the military. You know about, you know, the the, uh, the the Army, the Navy, the Marines, the Marine Corps, the reservists. You hear about the Coast Guard periodically. You sometimes hear about the uh, 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 private militia armies and things like that. But you know, you don't hear about the U.S. Marshals. You don't hear about all the things they do. Uh-uh. And yet... 
the government, being in its infinite wisdom, which you'll rarely hear me say, uh, created a beautiful piece of art to remember that. And that's something that will be around for hundreds of years. Uh, it's not like a piece of paper uh, that can be lost in the wind or a book that could be burned if our government should ever man, fall you sum that up so real, man. No, really. I mean, I think that's... I it's, mean, it's, it combines art and history together, and it puts it in something that also has, of course, a, a monetary value. Right. You know, silver itself has a value. So they've created something that people are going to hang on to on purpose, even if they don't appreciate the U.S. Marshals or, you know, Jamestown or uh, the the, uh, the Hall of Fame uh, baseball players or, you know, Benjamin Franklin. They may not appreciate what is on the coin, but they'll keep it because the coin has silver value. And then hopefully, maybe someday, someone who doesn't necessarily know the history of that item will see this, will look at the beauty of it, and then decide to do research. And then they'll start doing that thing that people are forgetting to do, which is read. Right. They're like, wait a minute, who the heck is Louis Braille? Right. Or wait a minute, who were Lewis and Clark? Or why is Abraham Lincoln, you know, what's this pattern of Abraham Lincoln? I see him all, all kinds of stuff. Next thing you know, they start doing some research, and they find out, wait a minute, he wasn't just our president. He was also a statesman. Yeah. He was a lumberjack. He was a, a librarian. He was a lawyer. Mm -hmm. He did all of these things in his lifetime. And I pretty much tried to chronicle that with the penny set that they came out in that one year. Exactly. Now, what that what that they did we was did they took one. they took someone who most people would say, "Well, he was a president." Right. The guy happens to be on our penny. Right. Whoop de do. Right. But wait. Now, wait. now you've got Great. part of his life is is commemorated forever in something that is hard and tangible coins, which you know you've heard me say before. I'm not really much of a, uh, I'm not much of a paper guy, and I'm not a philatelist. I don't collect stamps. I love coins. Now, I, you know, I will collect paper money. All right. I'll look at scripophilia. I mean, I like stocks and bonds like everyone else, All right. but I don't collect those items. To me, coins are where it's at because you've got a great combination, like I said, of art, history, and money. Right. The three things. All that tied into one. Tied into one. I yeah. mean, if you think about it, over the history of our civilization, things that were tied tangibly to art last forever. Look at such great, you know, artistic expressions as, you know, the pyramids at Giza, mm -hmm. uh, the temple at Karnak. These are artistic structures that were built that lasted. The papyri paper that was in the Library of Alexandria gone. is gone. Gone. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. No. Uh, you look at how many thousands of books were burned during, you know, during the war, during the Nazis regime in, in Germany that we'll never get to see again. How many times in our history have we taken things that were soft and able to be lost and destroyed, you know, that, that we can't ever get back. But you take a coin and you commemorate something in it, somebody somewhere is going to hang on to it and think it's valuable. I get people who walk in here with coins every day that they find and don't recognize, and they know they're more valuable than just what they're made out of because they're old, and they want to learn the history. And these are people who aren't numismatists. Right. They're not people who are historians or librarians. So or it has that sort of drag you in effect. It does. It, but it also it inspires people to become educated about something. Now, the, motive, the motives behind that are vast, just as vast as there are the ideas about religion in the world. The reason to pick up a coin and ask about it is... Is it worth something because it's more money? Is it worth something because it's made out of a certain metal? Is it worth something because it's rare? Is it worth something because it's a, an error? All of those things could draw in 10 different people for 10 different reasons, all from the same little coin that they found working in their garden or the same coin that they opened up in the, the trinket box of their great-grandmother who passed away 40 years ago or uh, they're, they're you know getting pocket change from their local fast food restaurant and they hear a coin that sounds funny and the next thing you know they're picking up a 1964 quarter. Those things are what make numismatists uh, 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 or num numismatics a hobby slash disease. And I hate to say that. Hey, but it's true because most no. of us, once we're bitten, once we're bitten, oh, I'm that, bitten, dude. You, you don't let it go. I've been no. doing this for a very long time, and I love no. it. And and I, when I see a young person come in here, I don't care what they're bringing me. I spend extra time with them because sure, that's the kind oh, that's of person, awesome, man. That's what's going to do it. That's going to no. be the future of new new. Yeah, well, well, that keeps the hobby alive. Yes. for all of us too. We need the youngsters in. Well, and as long as there are people buying commemorative coins, the United States Mint has the opportunity to operate at a break-even point. A lot of people forget that the commemorative program mm -hmm. was not created, was not created to make coins to pass around in your pocket. It was created to find a way of making coins 
that could make a profit to help fund and pay for your pocket change. Remember, mm -hmm. it costs more to manufacture mm -hmm. a penny, a dime, or a nickel yeah. mm -hmm. than it does what it's worth. Right. The government cannot make a penny, a dime, or a nickel. I mean, they're getting close now. The, pen the pennies are actually getting down to where they're less than a penny to make. But a dime, a nickel, and a quarter still, they're so expensive to manufacture. And, yeah, they're going to last a very long time. I mean, right. we, we just come in and just, you know, people still today find, you know, mercury dimes from, you know, the 19, 19 teens, you know, 1915, 1916, 1920 in there. Well, 1916, but mercury dimes in 1916 and on. But they still find them in their pocket change. People still bring me Franklin dollars that they found when they went and got a roll of quarters, or I mean, a roll of half dollars from the, the bank. Mm -hmm. They still find them today in their pocket change. Now, if you think about that, you know, if you buy, if, let's say you find a 1962 Franklin half dollar in there this is 2019 mm -hmm. i mean that thing's been around that long mm -hmm. floating around in somebody's pocket yeah but they still find was, them that coin was paid for at that time by you and i through taxes mm -hmm. whereas the commemorative program when it came into effect it started well i mean commemoratives have always been around but when they really started pushing them it started being funded to pay for the manufacture of coinage. If you think about the Columbia Exposition, the 1863 Columbia Exposition half dollar, and the 1863 uh, Isabella quarter, those were created in order to have something to commemorate the 1863 Columbia Exposition. However, they were sold at a profit from day one. They were sold at twice face value. They were uh, the Columbia half dollar was a dollar. Right. And back then, paying twice face value for anything was unheard of. Right. So if you that would be the same thing as me saying to you right now, I'm going to give you, you know, a, a fourteen hundred dollar gold coin, and I will sell it to you for twenty eight hundred bucks. Nobody would pay that. Right. But the reality is, is that that commemorative coins give the government in a way to make a silver coin that contains today fifteen dollars and nineteen cents. They can sell it online for thirty nine ninety nine. Right. So they're doubling their money. Yeah, there's some money in the packaging. Yeah, there's some money in the marketing. But, but no. the reality is, is that the majority of that premium goes to be able to be fund to fund other things that our government uses to make our money, to create our currency and our, our coinage. So, with that being said, it's a really great thing that people need to stay in touch with. You know, granted, commemoratives are not for everybody. Some people don't want to invest that money and hold on to it for a really long time so that they gain in value. Because you're right, you are buying a coin that today. Costs you thirty nine dollars, and in the book value is thirty four dollars, and you lose that five dollars or four dollars. Right off the value. bat, right off the bat. But it's just like buying a new uh. car. You buy a new car today for forty thousand dollars. You drive it off the lot; it's worth thirty thousand dollars. In ten years, it'll be worth fifteen thousand dollars. In forty years, it'll go back to being worth twenty five or thirty thousand dollars. And in sixty years, the car, the car will be worth what you paid for it. That cycle of life for collectibles is long and vast, and you have to have a long memory to to enjoy the success of collecting something that is made only for collectible value. You know, if you were to go and buy a brand new car today and you want to make a profit on it, most likely you're either going to be a car dealer or you're going to be a collector that hangs on to it for 60 years or longer. Right. Four to, yeah, no, I mean, you know, so man, I hear, I hear your passion for it, dude. I mean, no, I, 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 I love, I love hearing the stories, man. No, I love the, I mean, this is this is why I come here, man. I mean, I, I learn so much every time I come here. Well, and keep, I mean, keep in mind, you know, I'm, I'm only human. I make mistakes. I remember. Oh, wrong, I mean, you'll notice every time you come in here, I have books all over the place. You do, you do, I, I you do. Books are back here, that, and they're available for anybody to look at at any time. Dig them out, use them, look at it. That's what they're there for. And of course, we sell books too, but that's a secondary thing. I sell them because people want to take them home and keep them. You can always come in here and borrow any of my books forever, as long as you're here and using them. Oh no, that's uh, well. Listen, um, I'm going to end this just so that we. Uh, I think we've shot long enough, and then we'll dig that. But what I've, uh, are we getting that? Now we're getting this one too. Are we? Oh yeah. I don't know. You yeah, wanted the Star Spangled Banner commemorative oh, coinage of the baby. Oh my god, you saw it. All right, it was really good. So give him the final total, and then we can bad. chat it up a little bit, and we'll let you all go. See, his pen didn't like that. It's twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that! Wow. That's a nice little. Uh, so twenty dollars and set. I'm sorry, twenty dollars, right? Two thousand seventy-two dollars is your. Total. Oh no, I like the first number a $20, lot. Twenty thousand dollars? <laughs> no, no, you oh. said twenty thousand. Yeah. See, it's late. I didn't hear that. That's okay. I, I, so I may what? Not is, what is my total? What is my total again? Two thousand seventy-two bucks. Two thousand and seventy-two bucks for that. Two thousand and seventy-two bucks. A lot of ninety-sixes, and we don't know what's in these tubes yet.
Not the dates that. that it says on the side. That's for sure. That's and about I the most. Li- I would like to point <laughs> out that 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 you know he did menu did manage to muster up a little bit of reserve because there is a partial other tube here that That's, he's not taking. I'm price. not taking that partial other it's tube. Partial tube. About looks like almost a half a tube. My oh, oh, you're right killing here. me, sir. Because I just got three six, spare seven, off your eight. earlier today. Oh, wait, there are ten eagles. Oh, half ten a eagles. There's a half a tube. Oh, right. he's killing me. <laughs> Killing me. That would that would almost make me a total of like one tube short of half a box. One tube, exactly. Look at you. Look. No, 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 no. You got three more at home. That's what I'm saying. I mean, well, we, it, could always, we could always pull a few of those and oh, put them into a tube if no. it would make you feel better. I have extra tubes. For seventeen twenty five. Man, really I, I looked no, at I looked at my I looked at what I had and I was like, this is what I can do and keep myself sane yet. Because uh, I'm gonna have to go on a little hiatus after this for a little while. Well, what you, what you really ought to do is you ought to pick yourself up about, uh, oh, I don't know, $3, $3 face of that constitutional, which would put you, if I gave it to you, at just shy of 10 times face, would put you right at an even 2100 bucks. All right. <laughs> there, there are mercury dimes in there. I, need, I, needed, I needed more quarters. Are we going after quarters? quarters? Okay. No, oh, quarters. Any barbers? Um... Same price? See, this is what happens to me. I get ready to leave. And he just so knows what I, I want. I don't have any. Barber, <laughs> I don't have any barber quarters. I do have two barber halves, and I have two standing liberty quarters. They would be the same price, three dollars face. Oh really? Yeah. So you can use these just like I mean, three dollars. I because I, I believe it or not, I believe I know these are things are slicked out, but I don't have yeah. a single barber half. Well, here's the deal: most coin shops right now are selling them between twelve and thirteen times face. But you know, I, I don't have a ton of barbers in, and I don't, right. mind, I don't mind letting you have them at, at a total of ten times face. So is that date legible? Is that eighteen ninety four? Looks like a nine. Looks like ninety four. Let me. May I? Yeah. Yep, that's eighteen ninety four, and this one's nineteen fifteen. That's a little bit. Yeah, well, much more legible. Huh? I don't have a single one of them barber half shit, believe it or not. Do you want those quarters? Yeah, let's take a couple standing liberties. For Lake House Beach. We know he likes those. <laughs> so, uh, oh, nice. so that's, what one, we... that's $1 face. All right, and then that's, just... That's not, well, I'm sorry, take it back. That's uh, $1.50 face. <laughs> You're halfway there. Okay, I'll just take the rest in quarters then. Okay, do you want to look through them? Because I don't know what dates. You might find a 32S, 32D, you never know. Do you want to look through them? I haven't. I mean, there's a 35. That's a 30-year issue, right? Yeah. I mean, I don't care what you take. I'm just telling you. Yeah, I know. I'm just wondering if that's a lot of quarters to search through. Yeah. You know, I, I got an even better idea. Hold on, hold on. Okay. This is what we do how we hold it up 90%. There you go. <laughs> Start searching away. 1932. Well, I don't know. You, know, there's you want a 32S? Right? <laughs> I sold a 32S and a 32D yesterday. There's a 43. Thank you. Mm-hmm. 42, 43. Some of those are 39. There's a 39. That's the right one. Put the 39 in there. And the 35. What's this other one in there? 43, 46, 47, 44, 62, 53. Hut, hut, hike. Oh, wait. That's what I'm calling it. 63. 64. Golly, I wish I would have just taken it all, but I blew right through my budget. Well, the Eagles will do that. Let me cut this just for a second. Actually, maybe I'll wrap it up and we'll just... Uh, Come back at the end and let you know if you find anything cool. All right, we'll be right back. 32. And we did not find any 32s. But what we did get was this little hole here. Five rolls of random date Silver Eagles. A 2012 Star Spangled Commemorative Coin. The uh, 2018 S. Three dollars of Constitutional Silver, which has two um, Barber half dollars. Barber halves. I'm losing my mind. And now. two it's Walking Liberty like, halves. Two Walking Liberty halves. And he even gets this nice little collectible lockbox to go home at with him. That. Has this little handle 
So you can slide it in and out oh, of your safe easily. Neat. I, I don't suppose there's a key to it. Though. I notice there's a key. You know, it. It. I do not have a key to it. Because that doesn't press in. It's just a key one. I, it's just a key. But the that's good, fine. The good is, I'm pretty sure this is the one you can go online and get that little key. Oh, for really? They're only like two or three dollars. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. All that. Open the lid one more time. Two thousand one hundred dollars. So. That's going to bring this video to a close. Winning's over there still sorting through the constitutional silver. I got to get her out of here. So what is it, about 2 o'clock at night now? What time oh, is it? Like that. Yeah, you want me to get my phone out? Are you kidding me? Uh, it's 1.14 in the morning. One fourteen. Oh, it's not too bad then. That's not too oh, bad. Gives me a little... <laughs> you an hour and a half to look because you don't go to bed till 3, right? No, well, 3, 4, 5. It depends. Yeah. Tonight's probably going to be like more 4 or 5 because we're going to be looking through this, I'm pretty okay, sure. 15 minutes home, an hour and a half. <laughs> it's still 3 o'clock. You know. Uh... All right, everyone. So anyway, we'll be talking to Kurt a lot more in the future. We're going to start doing some segments with him and uh, see what we're going to go over. But uh, it's going to bring this LCS a big trip to an end. Remember to like, subscribe, and all those other good things. I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.